Welcome back, and we have our last three from this Cafe Series 1 box. We're making mini-verse, make it mini-foods, and we have to collect all 18. That's our goal. So far, we need two left. I need the vanilla donuts and the mocha. Those are the only two that I don't have from this entire recipe list. I've made all of the others. So we are going to open up these last three, see if we get what we need to get from them, and I'll open up the display as well and check out what's inside there. So let's get started. I'm gonna move my box out of the way and grab our first one. All right. Need two and I've got three. There's a good chance that I have at least one duplicate. I have to have one duplicate. Hopefully I don't have more than one. Let's see. Okay. Open up this. I've got my resin light all ready to go turned on over here on the side and I've got my tools that I use for my cry cut over here on the side, ready to go. And let's go ahead and open this up. I am very nervous. I want all of these. I wanna collect them all, but I'm very anxious that I might not be able to. Let's hopefully, hopefully, Let's see how good my luck is. Open up that, and here's our third plastic layer that comes in the series one. All right, here we go. I need a uh, rise and shine or no mat. That's gonna be our deciding factor here. I need a rise and shine mat. Or no mat. I don't have a mat in this one and there's a tray. This could be the vanilla donuts. It's definitely not the coffee. So let's see. Let's see. Got the tray as expected with the vanilla donuts. Then I've got this would be the box of donuts. With the vanilla ones we need just regular sprinkles. Hopefully, hopefully. There's the donuts. And I'm kind of glazed that I get that might be a deciding factor too. Oh. I've got a, a vanilla glaze. Oh. It's either the cinnamon rolls or the vanilla donuts. Come on. And I got the sprinkles! These are the vanilla donuts! Sorry if I'm too high pitched. I'm just really excited. I actually only need one left from the series. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. All right, so let's go ahead and make these vanilla donuts. We've got everything we need. I did not see a baking paper. So normally there's a paper that goes on this, but I think it's in here. Maybe it's in with the donuts. Yep, there it is. So I open this up. I've got my little paper that goes on the tray to make sure it stays nice and neat. And let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Bring everything over to my table. Oops. All right, that's better. So inside my box, I have our two vanilla donuts. And I just set those on my table, on my island. And they will end up on this tray. 
I've done a couple of the donuts like tilted on their cake stand. So I think with this one, I'm probably going to do just flat donuts like I did with the cinnamon rolls. So. With this one, it is simply just add the glaze on top. Woo! I'm lucky that landed on the donut. There we go. Add a layer of glaze there. Gonna let it sit. Add a little bit more in certain spots. I'm hoping for some controlled drips. Whoops. Touched it. Good job. All right. I really like how one of them is turning out, but the other, eh, not as much. There we go. It's better. And add the sprinkles. Then Put them under the UV light and set. That is all for the vanilla donuts. I'll clean up my mess. And then we will be opening up our next ball, our next mystery. Add my vanilla glaze to the other vanilla glazes and stuff that I have over there. Clean up all the sprinkles. Probably won't be keeping that. The tongs are still good. Alright, and slide these in the cap so that they're out of the way. Alright, there was our first ball that we opened for today. I've got two left and I need just the mocha. So let's hope the mocha is in one of these. Just need the mocha. Just need the mocha. All right. Clean up my surface a little bit. Get started on my next one. Here is ball number two. Before I do that, let's go ahead and take a look at our donuts. I'm gonna set them down over here so I can clean off my baking tray. So many sprinkles. All right. So we've got our paper, our tray, and our lovely donuts. There we go. Now I'll finish setting these um, as I open up the next two balls. But there they are. Finished product. All right. Ball number two for today. <sighs> mocha. I need the mocha. It should have the rise and shine uh, mat that dictates its coffee. Okay, layer number two. And layer number three, need the rising sun coffee mat, and I did get a rising shine coffee mat. It's pink. None of the ones on the recipe sheet are pink. 
Let me show you. This one shows that it should be blue, and this one shows that it should be blue as well. This is a coffee. So I don't know which one I got yet. It is most definitely a coffee of some kind. Start here. With our thank you, have a sunny day ball uh, bag. Okay, we've got coffee cup. Oh my goodness. The, la the latte comes in a mason jar. The mocha comes in a cup. I just got all of the Cafe Series 1. I did not plan this, guys. I promise I did not plan this. This was pure luck. Unless the company decided Cafe Series 1 is so far gone. Like, they are far away from making any more Cafe Series 1s. That they just packed the boxes now with all of them in there. But I, I got it. I got all of the Cafe Series 1. So here's our mocha. And our whipped cream. It's in a brown container because when you open it up, the whipped cream has a chocolate syrup drizzle on it. Oh, it's upside down. There's the whipped cream with the chocolate drizzle. So I've got those ready. And I need my straw. So as I remember from the pineapple one, if you insert the straw, it can be tricky, and the, the latte. The straw can be tricky to get the whipped cream to fit on top of the cup. So I have to be very cautious about how I do this, making sure that I have enough room for both the straw and the whipped cream on top. Oh. I'm not fond of this straw. They left the little, this is, a, there's a little tab at the end where it should have been cut off. I can cut that off and make it into a straw, but it's not my favorite straw for sure. There. Now it's a normal straw. The other one is already normal, so I think I'm going to use that one for this recipe. Okay, and my tools. Might use the tongs for this one to add the whipped cream, but we will see. Put the topper in the top of the ball so it's easy to open. And set the straw off to the side and the tongs off to the side and the whipped cream lid off to the side. Bring this up. Oops! I have to pick up everything, sorry. Give me a minute, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I was able to find all of the items except for the straw, so I guess here I am using the straw I didn't like, but that's okay. I'm gonna start by opening up the coffee, the mocha here and tipping it upside down in the cup. Zoom in on that for you as it comes out of the bottle. Perfect. Hopefully they provided enough of the mocha for us because sometimes they don't. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting closer to being filled all the way. I am going to fill it up as high as I can. Just let it sit upside down for a little bit longer. And then squeeze.
I think I'm getting bottom of the bottle. Like just barely whatever's left is coming out. I have a feeling the way this is going, the whipped cream is not going to fit on top of this. So let's just do a test here. Set the coffee over on the side. And my goal here is to make sure the whipped cream fits on top. Oh, it looks like it might. So and I don't want to drop it yet. So I'm going to just cure the mocha. And then we'll see what we have left to add the whipped cream on top. I was a little worried and I've got my chocolate sauce or my chocolate glaze something off to the side that I can use. But I was hoping I didn't have to, so let's see. I might even have some chocolate milk. This is from the Hot Cocos, and they were already extremely hard to fill. So I'm not, no high hopes here that the, that milk has some in it, but I'll keep it there just in case. All right. I think it's ready. Yeah, the straw doesn't move anymore, so that's a good sign. Now I'm going to try to just top this off. With as much as I can, whatever I can get out. Because I need some to get the whipped cream to stick on top. Okay, okay. A little bit more, please. Whatever will come out. I am a perfectionist, so I have a feeling I'm probably going to try that chocolate milk just to see if I can get this any more perfect than it already is. So I just want it topped off as much as possible. So let's go ahead and see what's in this chocolate milk that I have. It's been sitting upside down for a long time. So if there is anything in it, it should come out fairly easily. There we go. Yeah, the chocolate milk was extremely hard to get out when I was doing those, so. Was that all? Looks like there could be more. They need to revamp the chocolate milk containers they are impossible to pour. I would really like to see like a a jug, you know, like a milk jug. Or even like I've seen milk in a bag. You could do a milk bag. Anything other than a milk carton because they are impossible to squeeze. I would really appreciate that mini verse. Alright, good enough. I did need that little bit extra though, so now it's topped off enough that when I set this on top, oh beautiful, okay, I'm going to harden it like that, cure it up, here are our finished donuts, we've got a lovely breakfast meal here, donuts and a mocha, and my coffees are all gone. And now that I've got all of the Miniverse um, Cafe Series 1 from this box, all I have left is this extra ball. So something's going to be a bonus. Let's see what duplicate I got. And then I'll open up the front of the box just to see. I'm probably not going to make the duplicate right now, but maybe I'll do a separate video where I just do duplicates. 
Okay. This one. Oops. All right, and last layer. I'm gonna laugh if it's another mocha. Like I'm so destined to get all of them, but I got two at the end. It's a coffee. So I got a duplicate of a coffee. Let's see what it is. I have a feeling since it's a blue mat that it's probably the latte. So let's just see. Yep, here's the latte mug. So it is the latte. Going to just open all of it and put it back in the bowl for later. The next one, this should be the whipped cream. This is like a caramel latte, so there's a caramel whipped cream. Let's open that up so I don't have any garbage when I have my duplicates. There we go. The resin in the heat cool bag. Here's our latte resin. And we need our straws for this. Two straws. One straw. Two straws. And the tools. There we go. All of my items back in the container for a duplicate later. But last but not least, I wanted to open up the box and see if on the front of this box, if in here, this milk has any resin in it. So we're gonna open up this and just take a look at what they give us. Using my tool, it's got a very sealed plastic on the front. Into and they taped it too. Okay, there we go. Got it coming out. All right. Move this off to the side. I don't need it anymore. Okay, so in this package, we get all of the items it looks like to make the rainbow cereal, the rainbow rings. So let's see what we really get. Just so if you ever in the future want to buy one of these boxes and find out that it's not actually what you expected. So you get the bowl and the spoon which is very necessary. And you get a full pack, it looks like, of the rainbow rings. They have the box open. Yeah, the rainbow rings didn't have a whole lot of cereal in them. 
So this looks to be a full pack of rainbow rings as expected. I'm going to just slide that back in the box so it's safe. And finally the resin is empty. It is an empty bottle. There's no seal on the top. It is just a bottle. Nothing in there. You can tell there's nothing in there. So the front of these display boxes, they have useful materials if you are thinking about making more minis like if you wanted to make rainbow rings um, or make your own rainbow rings when you get it even better because I could potentially use it to add cereal to the top here use like a glaze so that I have like a white color uh, for the the milk and then add more rings to the cereal bowl that would be perfect and then I could use the bowl um, that they just gave me for something else. I could use this um, to make my own cereal. Maybe I want to explore that far. But this milk, this resin is going to be useless. So just a heads up, don't buy the big box if you expect to use the front display uh, with the resin. Okay. Well, thank you for going on this journey with me. Um, I was able to make all of the Cafe Series 1 minis. We got the vanilla donuts and the mocha at the end there. And look how awesome they turned out. There they are. And then behind them, if you've been looking, I've got all of my Cafe Series 1 minis and then some bonus ones on here as well. So, um... Stick around in the future. We've got something really interesting coming up. Um, I'm going to be sticking with the miniverse topic, but there's something new that has recently been released, and I'm hoping that you get to see me make those. All right. Uh, bye, and have a great day, everyone. Thanks for stopping.